Hey there, Jamie with Brazelton Realty here. Are you thinking of moving someplace that may be eh, a little bit more conservative? Well, I don't blame you a bit. Keep watching this video and I'm gonna give you some things to consider and some places that I'm going to suggest. All right, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about a lot of real estate related things here in Northern Colorado. I'm a full-time real estate agent located in Greeley, Colorado, and I would love to meet you. But while you're watching this video, if you like it, hit that like button and also the subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified next time I post a video. So 2020 was quite a year. One of the things that we saw is we saw a lot of violence and a lot of just really crazy stuff happening, riots and looting and, you know, and, and protests. And some of the protests were fine. I'm not saying they weren't, um, but sometimes they ended really poorly. And a lot of people that I've talked to over the last year, they're wanting to move out of these very liberal large towns and try to find some place that's a little bit more conservative. So if that's you, if you're looking for some place that's a little bit more conservative, let me suggest that you consider Weld County. Now Weld County has, has made themselves fairly well known in Colorado this last year because they've kind of butted heads with our governor and the commissioners especially and some of the policies. Their stance has been very conservative and for that you may want to consider moving into Weld County. Now Weld County is a really large county made up of a lot of smaller towns but there is some larger towns and Greeley being one of the largest, if not the largest, in Weld County. Now Greeley is more conservative than most towns of its size. It does tend to be a little bit more liberal than Weld County as a, as a whole. So it's, it's kind of a good balance that we find here. And sometimes you get caught in the middle like we did in 2020 where the commissioners went against the governor and then the city mayor of Greeley kind of lined up more with the governor. Regardless, Greeley still tends to be more conservative and it gives us more of a small town. I mean, Greeley's population is like 107,000 people right now, not considering its proximity to Evans and LaSalle and Windsor and Eaton and Johnstown. I mean, it's it's got a fairly sizable population but it still gives you that small town feel where there's a tight knit community and people like each other. Now, when we start looking at community, I think this last year has shown us that community is really important. And I've seen or started to see a trend in people that they're trying to move out of these larger cities and they're trying to find places where they're going to have more community where they're actually going to know their neighbors and feel safe within that community. I think that's something that Greeley can provide for a lot of people. And if not Greeley, there's a lot of places in Weld County that can provide the same thing. Now I hope this video is helpful. I hope you see that just because a state may be a very liberal state, there's pockets of conservative uh, politics within that state and it just might be the minority within the state so Weld County and Greeley tend to be that type of a community it tends to be more conservative now if you want more information about the properties and the locations here in Weld County I'm going to leave some links down in the description of some different locations that you may want to consider. I'm also going to put a video up here of some of the smaller towns that you may want to consider if you're considering Weld County and then I'm going to put one here for more information about Greeley itself.